Hey guys, Johnny Bit here, back with another video, and today we're back here in Cardio Sub Tycoon. But today uh, I'll be reviewing the update where they where they brought back four limiteds. Now those four limiteds are the first one being the McLaren P1 GTR, the second one being the McLaren Senna GTR, the third being the Chiron. The Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport, and the fourth being the Lycan Fenner Super Sport. Now, obviously, I'll be going through all of the prices, the previous prices, and to the new prices, and I'll be going over the OG wraps as well. Also, sorry this video is a little bit late. As of this recording, there is ten and a half hours left of these cars, but this update did drop two days ago as of this recording, and I was not available to. Uh, do the video, so I apologize, but I'm recording it here for you guys right now. Now, I calculated the previous prices. When they bring back limiteds, they bring OG wraps for the original owners, the pers the people who bought them the first time, and then they also uh, raise the price 50% more than original. So I'll be going over that. Um, so yeah, I think we should probably get started right now. So... The first car here is the McLaren P1 GTR. Now, I'm going to spawn this for you guys. Um, there's obviously an OG wrap. I'm going to go over the price first. But let's go to the stats here. 221 miles per hour, 8.4 handling rating, rear wheel drive, 70 on the podium, and 3,068 on or per mile. Now, I'm spawning in here. This thing looks absolutely amazing. And actually, you can make this car using the P1 and its body kit. But this is a completely different uh, story because it's actually, uh, they have the same body kit, but the car, the P1 GTR, is uh, much better in performance. Now, if we go to my notepad here, the P1 GTR, the previous price was $8 million. And the 50% of that is 4 million, so they bumped it up to 12 million. Now, uh, there are four OG wraps, obviously, for each car. So we're going to check out the P1 first. So to go, you have to find the car. Then you go to the, the pencil and the wrench, wraps, and boom. So this is some type of abstract or something. I don't know. It doesn't look good with this color, but... Uh, if I, eraser, if I make this probably like a white or something, I think this might look slightly better. Now, obviously with the stripe, you can customize it as well, but it doesn't go with the uh, texture. But, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty interesting wrap, to say the least. Personally, I don't like it, but it's not bad. Honestly, I feel like there could have been a much better wrap. However, it's still pretty cool. Also, I will be doing the barn hunt very soon, uh, probably uh, next weekend or something, I don't know. There's uh, four days, so yeah. I might even do it tomorrow, but whatever. Anyway, so that's the P1 GTR. Um, you, most of the, basically all of the cars here are collector's cars, except for the Pure Sport, which I'll go over later, because it's such a good car. But moving on, we're moving on to the Senna. GTR. Now this car is an absolute uh, sick looking car. If I spawn it here, boom, there we go. Absolutely, look at this humongous wing, we got the big diffuser, and just all its aggressiveness as you would expect in a McLaren race car. Now this car was originally, if you look at my notepad here, 8.5 million dollars. And 50% of that is 4 and 4, 4.25 million. So they bumped it up to 12.75 million, which is quite expensive actually. Again, this is a collector's car. I'm going to go over the wrap here. So this is a zebra wrap. This wrap was on the uh, Ford Velociraptor 6x6 uh, last year, which honestly I don't like either, but like it's whatever. And I think the car really doesn't need it anyway, because it just looks so, so cool. But, um, the wrap is just to show that it's it's exclusive. You bought it the first time, you grinded, and you put your effort into buy this car. 
Now, um, I think I'm going to go to the Fenner first for the uh, Pure Sport because the Pure Sport is so special and so good that it's probably the best to buy. Now, um, we're going to move on here to the the Lycan Motors, Lycan Motors Fenner Super Sport. Now, obviously, this is my spec. It doesn't, it actually has its own spoiler. Uh, hold on, let's see. This is the only Lycan in the game. This is a Fenner Super Sport, not the uh, Lycan Hyper Sport. But yeah, so honestly, pretty cool looking car. I will say that. Uh, this is a dual customization, so there's a lot of things that you could do. You have the primary color, which is white, and then you can do any color for the secondary, which is the little stripes. You also have the rims and the calipers. It also has some really uh, interesting wings here. It's just like small flaps, but very, very aggressive and futuristic looking car. Now, uh, the car originally, here if we look at the bottom here, the Lycan Fender Super Sport was $9 million. And 50% of that is uh, $4.5 million. So they added that to the $9 million and made $13.5 million. Uh, go over the stats briefly here. Oh, I forgot to do that on the Senna, actually. So let's go over the Senna stats here briefly. Uh, 223 miles per hour, 8.4 handling, rear wheel drive, drive train, 70 on the podium, and third, uh, 3,080 per mile. But going back to the Fender here, this is a very fast car. 247 miles per hour, top speed, 8.5 rating handling, uh, rear wheel drive, drive train, 72 on the podium, which is pretty good, and 3,169 per mile. Now we're going to go over the wrap here. Personally, I don't like this wrap either. Uh, this might go kind of well with my scheme, but it just doesn't look very good, honestly. I feel like there could have been such a cooler wrap for this car, but obviously, it's just, it's, it's, I don't think, personally, I wouldn't use it. I don't think most of the player race would use it, but it's definitely just, like I said earlier, I think the OG wraps just prove that you are one of the people that got it the first time and uh, put their effort in to get it and obviously this car it's really unique i will say but uh the wrap kind of just kills it for me um but yeah now we're gonna move on to my favorite car of this uh brought back um but yeah, so there's my friend Drip. Uh, he's not going to be participating in the video, I don't think, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to make this day for you guys so it's just a little bit better to see. Because the Pure Sport. Uh, oops, I can't. Ooh, shoot. So, the Pure Sport. Uh, I forgot to take off the wrap. I was using it. But, um, but here is the Pure Sport. Now, this car... Top car. Uh, but this is a really, really good car. This has one of the best handlings in the game for a Bugatti. And it's actually pretty good price too, I guess. I don't know. Depends if you got the first time. If you got the first time, very, very good. But if you got if you can if you still if you if you if you can grind for this, great. Just do it. Um, so let's go over the stats briefly here. 243 miles per hour. Uh, 9.3 rating handling. That's very, very good. Um, all-wheel drive, obviously. We got the 72, per, uh, 72 on the podium and 3,161 per mile. Now, the previous pricing here, as a, as a third row, $9.5 million dollars. Now, uh, half percent, 50% of that is four, four, and, or whatever, I don't know. I don't care anyway, but they bumped it up 50% more to 14.25 million. And the OG wrap is actually very nice. This is my favorite OG wrap of the thing. It's just a fade. It's actually really, really clean. And in my opinion, uh, one of the best wraps that a car can get. This wrap was on previously on the Pagani Zonda Cinque and the Project Project One. Unfortunately, I don't have the, the Zonda Cinque. I didn't get it when it came back, and I didn't get the 
and I didn't get the car the first time either. I stopped playing at that time. But I did manage to get the Project 1, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think I reviewed that in a different video. However, uh, yeah, as you can see here, Jake also brought his Pure Sport in red, and obviously it just varies in the paint. So yeah, very, very cool. I do love uh, this car. If you can get this car, get it, because this is one of the best cars that you can invest in. And one of the best track cars in the entire game. This car is basically the little brother of the uh, Vision GT here. Which is pretty crazy. And it's slightly crazy different pricing too. As you can see here. The fade uh, goes into gray and stuff like that too. It varies. You could, this car is very customizable. It looks awesome. And it, it definitely makes up with this performance too. Now, uh... Basically, I think that's going to be it. Sorry, again, sorry this video is a little bit late. Uh, however, uh, I was a little bit busy. I couldn't make the video, but I'm making it now for you guys. So, I uh, got you. Um, but, yeah. So, basically, uh, what we covered in today's video, we covered the four new cars that got uh, brought back. The McLaren P1 GTR, the Senna GTR, the Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport, and the Lycan Motors Fender Super Sport. They all got a price raised by 50%, and you guys have 10 uh, more hours out of this today's recording to get them. The, the first, the original owners got OG wraps, as you guys know. And yeah, out of all of them, I think. The most worth, most value you can get is with the limited is the Pure Sport for sure, and the best wrap too, in my opinion. Uh, but I want you guys to let me know what is your favorite uh, wrap in, in from the update. Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. But I think on that note, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you guys did, make sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, also tap the bell notification icon so you get notified whenever I post a new video or go live in the future, obviously. Um, but, yeah, um, he just left. But I think on that note, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!